Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Now the garage ed segment, the real deal. It's time to diagnose a car. We got a problem. The window won't go up or down, and unfortunately, it's in the down position. It's gonna rain, not a good thing. Let's go ahead and diagnose this one. What's the first thing we do? Pull a schematic. Let's understand strategy-based diagnosis and what it looks like. And look at it on the graphic here. Let's just start at the top at the circuit breaker. We'll just work our way down. And if we follow the light blue wire down, we're going to that big switch assembly. That's the master switch switch assembly, that's actually on the driver's side, and if you go through the driver's switch, you keep going down, it goes completely through the passenger window, and then it goes down to the motor. It's cool because it's a bi-directional motor. It either goes up or down, or it's going to go the other way. It's going to switch polarities. Now here's the deal. We're dealing with, if we go back up to the top of the schematic, we're just really dealing with that pink wire. So let's follow that pink wire over to the right, come all the way down, and we go to that switch. Then what we do is the passenger wants to run it, then it's allowed to go back through that motor through the master switch to ground. Well, with that said, we got some complex diagnosing to do. I'm gonna need Tom over here to give me a hand. Tom, why don't you come on over here and you can run the meter for us. We're gonna open up this switch and we're gonna start looking at what's going on here. So if I just pop this off, and anytime you pop a door panel off, just do it kind of gingerly and get that off of there. It's really no big deal on this one. Here's our actual switch, Tom. Got the color wire schematic matching everything we're matching. You got the meter in hand. So the first thing we wanna do is really just check power. So I'm going to find the power to that pink wire. We want to make sure we have power to the pink wire. I already verified the customer's concern. So I'm going to the pink wire. And I think I can, can complete ground right there. And I do. So we got 12.31 on that meter. What does that tell us? Well, that tells us that we actually have voltage coming to this switch. Now I'm running the switch and nothing's happening. So if I run the switch and I go across those other two wires, we should have a positive and a negative 12 volts. So I'm gonna try to stick it in right there. Tom, you use your other hand and give me a hand, hold that for me right there, perfect. I'm gonna run the switch, zero and zero. What is that telling me? Well, it's telling me the switch isn't working. I'm not getting any power through the switch whatsoever. So I'm gonna put the meter down here. Tom, a couple of parts at Rock Auto, man. Why don't you tell us about a couple of parts on the table? I'll pull the switch out. Looks like you got a replacement power window motor and a replacement switch ready to go. So we're ready to go, aren't we? <laughs> nice thing is you can go in there, you can order the parts, you know. Hey, window motor may fail eventually. At least we got it in stock here at Tech Garage, but you guys definitely treat us well. We got the parts. All right, cool. Now I got the switch out. You guys can take a look at it. It's pretty simple. Two little screws holding it in. Now here's my switch assembly. Like I said, I was rocking it back and forth. Nothing's happening. I'll pop it out of there, go over to our rockauto.com storeroom, which we got both. I didn't know if it was gonna be the window motor, so that's a backup plan, all right? But hey, it's good to have over here at the garage. All right, I'm gonna plug this in. And when I plug this in here, watch your meter, let's see. Oh, look at that, it's working. So we fixed our problem, but the cool part is if I show you how we fixed the problem, I said it was supposed to have a positive and a negative 12. If it did, then we'd have to go down to that window motor and we'd have to check it there. So I'm gonna go across it here on the two up and down motors. If you hold that meter still, we should develop a, there's our positive 10 and going down, it switches polarity to a negative 10. So that's pretty cool. That would tell us the window motor's bad. Tom, been an awesome trooper, man, an awesome helper. It's been a long season of electrical checks. We got our Mustang fixed. We did a lot of things here, man. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I learned a lot. RockAuto.com is a great source if you're buying parts, but just getting prepared for a project. We have the info button, you can click that. A lot of manufacturers have provided us with installation instructions. You can read those, get a, do your research before you even start the project. Yeah, make sure you go there. I've learned a lot too. It's been an awesome garage ed segment throughout the season. Tom, you also been a trooper, so I got you two things, man. You can't leave here without the old garage ed t-shirt. Gotta have that, man. Thank and you. And more importantly, I know you better than this, man. Remember segment three, the parallel lights and the Christmas lights? <laughs> yeah, I went and got, takes one out. They're all lit right here. It says lit and parallel. Please, don't spend an hour at Christmas no more. You got lights in parallel. <laughs> it's definitely been a great season. I'll tell you what, next season, I think maybe engine performance is in order. I mean, all the sensors on the engine, man, we could do some great stuff with that as well. So maybe yeah. check that out for next season. Anyway, there's still more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. Right after this commercial break, we're gonna take the video question of the week.